Can I get a white man in the background? Only they hung up on me. Can fingernails you fingernails and candy. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, you, we are calling ourselves these other names, and that was prophesied in the Bible. But in the last days, one third of our people are going to wake up to who they are and remember who they are. That's what the Bible says. You understand? So the most high God is calling you. Because let me tell you something, brother. You are God's chosen people. You know the tortillas? You know that? You know all the God, all the uh, uh, the sopes and all that stuff. That's in the Bible. That's how we used to eat in the Bible. That's unleavened bread. You understand what I'm saying, too, brother? This, you know, we we've gone astray from the Most High God. Can you give me a scripture? Can you give me Jeremiah? Jeremiah 33. Jeremiah 33 and. Uh, Jeremiah 33 again. Oh, no. see, and you know he died at 33. I, well, I've been seeing the 33, like, like I've been, so I started learning about numerology, okay. and because I started seeing a lot 11 11. And so 11 11, 2 2 3 3 3, 3 uh, 7 7 7, 6 6 6, 9 9 9. 9. Um, and that's, it's an awakening that I'm going through. Uh, then we're going to hit with Isaiah 11, 11. Because the Most High God is calling our people back. And that's what this is all about. That's what this is all about. Now, a lot of people here, they're okay with this world. They don't yeah. get discriminated against. Yeah. They don't have little kids in cages yeah. at the border. The little kids in cages at the border, that was that's in the Bible. That our people would, our, they would take our kids from us and we wouldn't have any power. That they would come from a foreign land and give us a new language and beat our heritage out of us. Right? We go, we go, we go, we gonna set you with program, brother. Because, because the Bible is not easily understood. A lot of people, uh, if you, if you read, I let it to the Okay. There's a man who's, who's reading the book of Isaiah, and he's like, I'm, and, the, and one of the apostles comes up to him and says, Do you know what you're reading? And he says, How can I? The Most High God will send people to send things to you and in your spirit to help you understand. Read this right here. This is the book. Oh, oh you want Jeremiah. 40. Jeremiah 33, verse 24. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 33, verse 24. Read out. Consider thou not what this people have spoken. Now, now, the, the, oh my God says all these other nations talk bad about us. And now, let me tell you, Christianity, so does Islam. You know what they say? Keep reading. People. This people have spoken, saying, the two families which the Lord has chosen, the two families he chose, was the northern and southern kingdom of Israel. You guys, are, we're in the northern kingdom. They're in the southern kingdom. You understand? Okay? So I would be what you call Gad. I'm the Native American. And, you, and, and he would be Judah, who we call Native African American. You understand what I'm saying? So we, they, they're laughing at us. They're saying, oh, God chose the Israelites, but, we you don't. Know, he have we have even cast them off. They think he cast us away. Because what he did is he's punishing us because we broke the covenant we made. We said we wouldn't eat pork. We said we wouldn't do certain things. But aren't we all equal? We're all the same God. Okay, give it to me. You know what you gotta give to me. We gotta, we gotta read you the Bible, brother. Because let me tell you something. The, the most high God has a chosen people. Okay. Remember he walked uh, Israel yeah. through the Red Sea? Yeah. Well, did he love Egypt when he was drowning them in the Red Sea? No. He loved Israel, and to save Israel, he drowned Egypt. And they were wicked, too. And they damn near deserved it. Read this. This is the book of De uh, Deuteronomy, chapter You know what I want? Chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art a holy people. You are a holy people. God said we're a holy people. You know what the word holy means? Yeah. It doesn't mean like angelic or like, oh. It doesn't mean that. It means set apart. Okay. You got a favorite jacket? Are you like, hey man, my aluminum foil jacket? That's my favorite. Yeah. Okay, so then that, that jacket is holy to you. Yeah. If it's your favorite. Yeah. It's set apart. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. That's what all that's all that holy means. It means set apart. Right? So he made us a set apart people. Read on. But thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. As a matter of fact, let me just say this. The same word kodash, he in the Hebrew, that, that word holy comes from, is the same word that you get saints from. The saints. We are the saints. Read on. 
For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. Right. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. The Lord, Lord thy God has chosen thee. He chose you. He chose us. Right. To be a special people. To be an average people. To be a special people. A special people unto himself. Unto himself. Personal relationship. Read on. Above all people. No, we're all equal. Above, above all, all people. Like God said, we are above all people. Now, don't we got like the most, we got like the, the strongest men. We got like the most beautiful women. We got the cutest babies. We got the best food. We got the best music. Don't oh, we? Yeah, yeah. Don't we? Yeah. We are, the Bible said, when he's, talking about the, when he's talking about the salt of the earth, read on, read on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Not just on Broadway, not just on 34th. We are above all people that are on the face of the earth. This is the most high God saying this. This is when he's making up right before he made his covenant with us. He's saying, I choose you, right? Give me uh, give me a uh, Matthew 5 and 14. Uh, 5 and 13. Because we're special. You do have to go soon. I'm, I'm, I'm going to jam pack you with three more scriptures. And then we're going to leave. And then I'll give you something. We'll give you something. You got a fire? I got a fire. We'll give you something. I'm not from here, though. That's all right, we'll give you some literature to go home with. If you have a Bible, it has some scriptures on it. It has some scriptures on it. It'll help you prove, prove you can prove to yourself okay. that you are. That's you. Where's Mexico on that? Yeah, flag is on there. Yeah, Mexico. See that on the bottom? Yeah, yeah. You, 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 this will help you remember who you are and, and read the Bible the proper way. Right? Read on. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 13. Bring it out. Ye are the salt of the earth. You're the salt of the earth, man. You sitting there with that butter popcorn, man. Does it got some salt on that thing? Yeah. Uh, what if it didn't have no salt on it? What would it be without that salt? Yeah, it would be bland. It wouldn't have no flavor. We're the salt of the earth. I like it. I worked at the job with some Italian lady, and she was like, some guy walked up to her. He thought she was Latina. And she was like, I'll take that. I'll take it. I'm like, you don't look Latina looking like Guido. Read on, read on. Ye are the salt of the earth. Right, but if the salt have lost its savor, yeah, now, now if the I salt doesn't before, make it right, you read before. that that's in Matthew, yeah. and it's in Mark. Now, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its savor, we don't. wherewith, wherewith shall it be salted? Where can it be salted, we don't? It is this form, good for nothing. If the salt doesn't add its flavor, it's good for nothing, we don't. But to be cast out. But to throw that thing out. And to be trodden under. And stomp on it, it's worth nothing. And if the salt doesn't add the flavor. So we're God's chosen people. The way that we add flavor to the earth is not by becoming them. Because they're wicked. And they rape, rob, and murder to get everything they got. And the way that we add flavor to the earth is we follow the laws and commandments of God. Exactly. We, we, don't, we don't eat octopus. We don't eat shrimp. Yeah. We can't do that. It defiles our body. And again, that's why all our grandparents are getting their legs chopped off and all that. Well, I'm learning. I'm learning. Right, but these are commandments, yeah, 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 and you yeah, gotta yeah. start somewhere. So you gotta find a commandment that you can deal with, and and take a step towards God, and He'll take a step towards you. That's James one eight. Okay, I'll say it, man, because I'm gonna say something else for you before we go. Uh, Give me uh, my, my commandment is to not eat pussy ever. Oh really? Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. You can't, you can't, you can't eat penis either. Oh shit. Now you really are now because you can't yeah. eat penis. Either. I'm okay with that. You don't have to eat. You don't have to eat the coochie, but you can't be eating no penis either, bro. Oh, you man. got to. You got. You know what you got to do? Why? You gotta. You gotta remember your maker. The yeah. Most High God created you. Yeah. You understand? And He created you to be. I know. I know what they are in this world. I know what they say in this world. They say, Hey man, I think God made a mistake. That's what they do. Tell me That's what they say. Kid, oh, right. And they traumatize me. And they live with a lot of I don't doubt it. I believe it. Because let me tell you, there was a time where my where my sexual appetite was claimed with all yeah. There was a time where my, the way I looked at uh, life and like, just to be real about it, the way I thought about sex was off. I was, I was going to the club. I was, I was picking up a shorty, bring her home, and booting her out. You did what I'm talking about? Yeah. And I was... I had a, I was chopping up the list. Shout out, wow! You understand? Yeah. So, oh, and, and, oh, and, we have a. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. But this, this will edify people because our people, our people oh, okay. have the same problems we got. You know what I mean? Okay. But let me tell you, I, I, at that time, I, I thought there was nothing wrong with that. Let me knock down as many shorties as I can. Let me take them down. That's what I. That's where my mind was. Okay. And I, so I know that our sexual appetites can be played with. Now, now, what are we gonna say Especially about what are, we, what are we gonna say about a pedophile? Well, I was, we gonna say I a pedophile? Was, right, right. right. See that? And, 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 and we all were in a way. We can go. Now, I need to go deliver them. Okay, well, check it out. Check it out. I just want to read this to you. He said, 
know that, you know what I'm saying, he said men don't get no pussy. Yeah. But he also saying that, that you should not have no relations with a man either. Yeah, you and, can't eat no rod either. And that's if I, it. If and I didn't, what am I going to do? I'm a human. Right, right. Okay, well, this is what you got to do. I don't like pussy. Read this, this and then we'll tell him what you got to do. This is what the Bible says. Okay? Uh -huh. Because you didn't get here by two men making love to each other. Right, you wouldn't be here. here by men. And you love your mama. Oh, and yeah. she got one of the things you refused to oh, eat. Yeah. <laughs> if somebody never ate that, you wouldn't be here. Exactly. <laughs> right on. Right. 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 He munched on that thing, right? right. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because you are an Israelite, of course, you will give the law, statutes, and commandments. Here's one of them. Read one. this, and then we'll tell you what you do, how you, how you, how you work on it. If a man also lie with mankind, you know what that means? If a man lies with mankind, okay. as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. Both of them have committed an abomination. Now, if, to, if a man lies with another man the way he lies with a woman, you know what we're talking about. We ain't talking I about know. sleeping. I know. Both of them have committed an abomination, right? They shall surely be put to death. This is what the Most High God's going to do. Okay. This is what the Most High God's going to do when he comes back. That's in the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, verse 13. So, so this is what you got to do. This is what you gotta do. Not you gotta say, give, know, give me know. James 4 and 8, and then we'll end it with that, and he gotta go. Because let me tell you something. We all working on but something. I, I we all worked something. on something. We were, I, I, at one point, I was carrying pistols and, and, and slanging dope. You understand? Yeah. And I had to work on it to get off of that. I, had, I, I never thought that I'd stop smoking weed. You understand? Well, I, there are I a lot like of things tea. in our life. I like tea. I'm hooked on tea, and I can't leave it. Tea's good, man. That's good. Wrong with good. Okay. Good do you have some? No, oh, no. Okay. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you okay. something. Let me tell you something. Oh, you're talking about other things. Exactly. But that's, you're not supposed to smoke it. That's the final example. You can eat it. You can eat it. That's lawful. Okay, but just read this. This is the book of James, chapter 4, verse 8. Bring it out. Draw nigh to God. You got to draw nigh to God. Take one step. If you eat pork, stop eating pork. Oh, yeah. Oh, if, if, I, okay. if you eat shrimp, stop eating shrimp. Take a small step. Yeah. Take one step. Get in that Bible, read some of them scriptures they, they, they on there. They told Take me that already. Step. The angels already told me right. that. Right, okay, okay. To, to go uh, the vegan route. Or like you don't have to go vegan. You can, eat, you can eat beef, chicken, and pork. If you read this, it'll tell you what foods are good. Because okay. some foods are lawful. You can eat you can eat steak, you can eat carne asada. You just can't eat no oh. pierna. Don't eat, don't eat pierna. Don't eat uh, dust. Don't eat, don't eat uh, shrimp, camarones. Okay. Don't eat that stuff. Okay. But you can eat beef and meat. I and like you go over the But let me tell you, brother, we like you too. You are brother. We love you. So, so I know you got to go. But to try to jam as much as you can eat, but you got to go. So check us out. Start somewhere, brother. Okay. Take, just read this again. Draw nine. Draw near to God, and He will draw nigh to you. He'll draw near to you. So if you take even one little step towards the Most High God, take one step. Say, okay, I'm, I'm going to cut out pork. I'm, and even try your best. A, a just man falls seven times. Try something. Like maybe this other problem with the with the with the with the vow that you took. Maybe that's harder for you to deal with. But as you get stronger in your faith, you'll be able to address those things differently. You understand what I'm saying? All right. What's your name? Miguel? Miguel? Yeah, my, my name is Yawasak. I'm Joseph in English. Check it out. You are God's chosen people. A lot of information. We got a, we got a YouTube channel. We are, we are called the House of Israel. So if you don't remember anything else, look for us. House of Israel. And you will see us. You will see us wearing here. All right, have a good one. Take care, man. See you. All right. Seven candlesticks. Right. This is, this is the actual uh, menorah. 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 Does it have to do with the rainbow? No? Oh, the rainbow is a covenant God made with the earth. Okay. It ain't about being homosexual. It's a okay. it's a promise that He made not to flood the earth again. Okay. I would read it to you, but I know you got to go. Gotta but go. that that's what it is. It's not they they've defiled. They took everything that He made. He the next time He's coming is with fire. He destroyed this earth with water. Next time He's coming with fire. Oh, oh that's God. what that that's what that rainbow is supposed so to remind you. That's why you got to get right. That's why you got to get right. Because he you're you're one of those that got a got a VIP ticket if you choose to take oh, it. Oh, okay, awesome. Because you, right. you just chose it. Thank you. You're a tribe of Issachar. You're an Israelite. Yes, I work in for Issachar too. You're an Israelite. Oh, okay. And your your tribe your is Issachar. Israel. It means he is hired. It means your people work really hard. Okay. Don't they? All right. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. You guys show some people, man. With pink, with pink fingernails. Yeah, man. With pink Yo, fingernails, man. What's, what's wrong with hey, him, man? man? But no, you did it nice that time. <laughs> you did it nice that time. <laughs> He did. He kind of came Yo, up. He, he, came up. Nice he deserved time. it. He deserved a he, nice. He yeah. deserved a nice because he came up to him. He said, "Hey, he said, where can I get one of these?" Right. Yeah. I said, "Well, what is that? What are you, Jew?" Right. He said, "Well, I don't know. My mom died. I've been closer to my mom. He, he probably only had his mama. 
and he now he he, he uses his mom. Uh, that's his mama's finger that part. Damn, lady, you, you, you bug out. That's me. Thirty four. Look, look, you bug thirty four. Street is hey, just full right? of holly no, ass no, evil he said, he said demon. That's his mama's nail. Oh, COVID victims. I don't know what the hell. He said that's his, he said his mom did her nails all the time. So he said that's the same thing his mama used. So now he's using that. You understand? Damn, man. So, so, Tired these goddamn he heathens, man. Out. But but no. that was a beautiful. Get down. Man. That was a that was a good little uh, if he takes some of that, dialogue. If he takes some of that. That was man. a good dialogue. He said he made a vow to not eat a... Yeah, word. What's wrong with that dude? Because because when he was uh in his impressionable years, he said that somebody did something to him. Oh yeah, he got he got molested. That that, that messed him up. They like, come here this word, see? Yeah. And you know, that, come the words. that'll turn a lot of these people out. Yeah, because he has some colorful that'll, pink that'll fingernails. Turn, yeah. And he had lipstick. You saw his straw had lipstick on, like when my mama be on the coffee cup. Yeah. And lipstick on. Yeah. He had that joint jumping on. And he said he had to go deliver some food. That popcorn was fucked up. Yeah, the right? box was all <laughs> bent up and shit. Yeah. The wrapper was coming off of it. <laughs> hey, I'll praise the most high. You order popcorn and delivery, your ass is serving. Yeah, God. <laughs> right? You give my pop. That's it all watered down by the time you got there. <laughs> I know that was a soda too, right? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> no folly. No folly. No folly. No folly.